Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office. The duties of the office on which I am about to enter. On which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Yes, yes. <laughs> you as the newest member of the cabinet. I know I can depend on you to meet the many challenges that await you at the Department of Health and Human Services. Many critical issues of the day face you at Health and Human Services, and I know as a fellow governor that you've been very active in the administration of these important issues already. And I'm sure the leadership and management that you bring to the department will help to promote and efficient and active department. Your knowledge and experience will be a valuable asset as we are challenged by the issues such as Social Security, Medicare, cancer research, and AIDS, all issues that touch the lives of every American. So I want to thank you for what you're willing to do. God bless you. Thank you very much. President Bush, members of Congress, staff, friends, and above all, my wife and our children. Today, indeed, is a memorable day for me, and I hope for the people of this country whom I shall try to serve faithfully and well. I do recognize the difficulties of the position, but I also recognize the challenges, and I shall strive with all my strength to balance not only the needs of the beneficiaries and of the health care providers, but also the taxpayers. And to you, Mr. President, I thank you for appointing me. I shall do all that I can to merit your confidence. And to you, Mr. Vice President, thank you for swearing me in. And to you, my congressional friends, and especially Senator Quayle, who started all of this, <laughs> I offer my uh, thanks for your support and assistance in my nomination and confirmation. And to my family and my dear wife, I know I'll be busy and on occasion may unintentionally seem neglectful, but please remember I still have not forgotten and that you are in my thoughts. And to my God, I ask for strength, for health, endurance, and tolerance so that I may offer service to all Americans that would be pleasing to him. 
Thank you all very, very much, and thank you again. Congratulate your parents, most of you. <laughs>